I go free. I love to talk my shit. And you must be a pussy boy if you get offended. Bitches see the snow. They love me cause I'm cold. Hey, you can't take no nigga from me. I got my control. Uh, I wanna fuck in the mirror. I like to look at your face. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. So I know I'm looking a little crazy, but it's okay. Because I am about to go to Tammy's house so she can do my hair because I am doing a updated Q&A for you guys and honestly I haven't really been feeling myself so I just want to get cute you know do my makeup get my hair done and take some pictures and also later on today I'm supposed to be going over Karen's so we can film for her channel basically that's what's really going on today I don't really have like much on the agenda i'm gonna just do the updated q a and then bring y'all along to this hair appointment and i might insert like a few clips of what karen has planned for us today but not too much because that's for her channel and of course y'all gonna have to go to her thing to watch you know her video so i don't want to you know take over that because it has really nothing to do with me <laughs> So, I guess I'll see you guys when I get to Tammy's house and get this head laid because I'm looking rough. But, all right. Bye. Hey. Whoa. Hey. Hey. I'm making a change today, the liquor been taking the pain away I heard you was giving your chain away, that's kinda like giving your flame away What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do A boss is a road that I've grown into, I love you to death but I told you the truth I can't just be with you, I'm only you Yeah, I got one person, you got one and that is the only two Man, how many times have I shown it through, man? How many nights I've been woke, swerving the potholes Not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road, okay? Funny how life goes, he thought he was sick, now he might be Okay, soon as you give them your soul, you grow up and they say you're selling your soul. Okay, they want my life exposed, they wanna know about the highs and lows. Well, summer all I did was rest, okay, and New Year's all I did was stretch, okay, and Valentine's Day I had sex, okay, we'll see what's about to happen next, okay, 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 we'll see what's about to happen next, okay, 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 we'll see what's about to happen. Hey, hey, we'll see what's about to happen. Hey, what's about to happen? I'm making it hey, the liquor been taking the pain away I heard you was giving your chain away That's kinda like giving your flame away What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do A boss is a road that I've grown into I love you to death, but I told you the truth Hey Yo, I got one lawyer, got one in that day the only two, man How many times have I told you the truth, man? How many nights I've been woke, swerving them potholes Babe, baby, baby, let me see you sing your baby dog you right here and write your phone this is my baby. baby dog. Dang. That's my baby. I can't see. <laughs> yeah. Tell him its name. Um, Tanya. Oh, no. <laughs> no, Tiny. Tiny, okay. Bye. Hey, y'all. So I am all done with my hair, and I am currently back home. And I have to kind of like go down because I'm having ring light difficulties i'm about to start on my makeup so i can go ahead and start with this q a for you guys so i just washed my hands and i'm about to apply my contacts in um i don't know if y'all know but when i don't wear my glasses i have on my contacts because i am legally blind i cannot see i'm legally blind you always see me with my glasses but when i'm like going out or like i want to look cute or whatever I put on my um contacts because who's about to be a bad bitch with glasses? I'm not saying that you can't be a bad bitch with glasses, but me, I'm gonna be the bad bitch I am without these glasses. Period. I'm about to put these contacts on. And I just have like clear contacts. I don't use color contacts. I try to like rinse them out with the contact solution before I put them in my eye to kind of just, I don't know. I don't know why I do that, I guess. I feel like I'm cleaning them a little bit. I don't know, but that's what I do. Okay, so I got one in there. I always make sure I put them in with some clean hands. 
I always, always make sure I wash my hands before I put them inside my eye. Just so you can like avoid, you know, little eye infections and stuff like that. And like throughout the day, you know your hands touch so many things. So it's very important to always wash your hands before touching your eyes, your face. Okay, but yeah, this would be given. <laughs> I have like smaller pupils, so if you really like look into my eyes, them contacts is way bigger than my poop. How do you say <laughs> pupils? But I mean, on camera, you won't be able to. But how y'all feel about my hair? She did what she had to do. Isn't it so fucking cute? It's the thrill of one more kill. So I'm all done with my eyebrows, and I was gonna just go in with like this color for my eyeshadow, and then I. Since my outfit's like a pinkish and a reddish color, I was gonna do the bottom of my like, you know, like right here. I was gonna do that color, but I don't know how that's gonna look. So I don't know, but we about to see. I usually use these two colors, uh, these these browns, but I'm gonna go with a lighter one this time. See how how that look. It probably you probably won't even tell much of a difference. I was also thinking about doing like a wing, but honestly, y'all, I don't. I haven't done a wing in about forever, so I wouldn't know like what the fuck I'm doing. And honestly, I honestly don't have time. So we want to see. What I end up doing. How do y'all do y'all makeup? Do y'all do y'all foundation first and then eyeshadow or eye look? Or do y'all do vice versa? Like, because I normally do with a little bit of that do do. I be doing like eyeshadow first. And then I go in with my foundation, then my contour that I don't know how to do. Do y'all see the difference or no? I do, a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. I know for my last video, y'all was on um, cracking me down with that, um, the smoke detector sound. Y'all, I'm sorry if y'all hear that noise. Cause look, I ain't gonna do nothing about it. People were saying I need the batteries changed. <laughs> I don't know, I probably do, but guess what? They not gonna get changed. They not. Now I might change it, I don't know. I'm gonna tell my boyfriend to do it, but. Honey, honey, I don't feel like doing that. So should I do the wing? Should I practice? I'm scared. I feel like it's not gonna come out. Yeah, so I started doing the pink on my waterline and stuff, but let me go ahead and do my foundation because I forgot how to conceal that part, like under my eyes. So I finally got me this Maybelline Fit Me Matte Pro List foundation and i've seen this on tiktok like everywhere on tiktok so i wanted to give it a try and i kind of did like the test match at the store and i think it matches my color i don't know i got it in the shade 330 and that is toffee caramel i don't know let me just put Actually, that might be a little darker than my skin color. Let's see how it looks. If not, I'll just mix it and then I'll contour with this. That yeah, that might be a little darker than my shade. But I'm gonna um, contour 
And then see, I'm not going to worry. I'm gonna blend it and see how it looks. Let's see. If not, I have like. Too. But I have other shades that I can mix. Like, I normally use this, but I haven't seen these in stores. They must not make it no more. This is my favorite. Y'all, so I went ahead and tried to do the wing and it came out all right. Not the best, but I just need to keep practicing. I want to get that like a little bit more dark, but I don't want to mess it up. Then I'm going to just leave it like that and just do the other one. Hey, y'all, so I am all done with my makeup. So I ended up doing a um wing line, like I said, and I added like some pink i don't know some pink eyeshadow and i am wearing my airbrushed bachela outfit that karen gifted me for my birthday um i have put it i don't know if i put it on my own birthday video or not but it was a hoodie set look at my stomach with some sweatpants i'm gonna have to get up here so y'all can see and then it says Bachela on the leg. And then it came with the shirt. But like I had told y'all earlier, I'm doing a updated q and I have the questions on my phone, so I went ahead and wrote them down in this notebook. Okay, so I did um put on the my Instagram question thing for you guys to ask me some juicy questions because y'all be a little dry. I said I wanted some interesting, juicy questions. So I picked out a few. It was a lot that it was like kind of the same. I have about like 22 questions here. So let's go ahead and get started because I have to do a few things after this. So let me go ahead and get this out the way. So question number one is, what is something you would like to accomplish or dream about in the next year? So we honestly fresh into the year. So i'm really thinking about this year i ain't thinking ahead of time next year because we still got a pretty good long way to go but for this year something i would like to accomplish i have a lot of stuff in my you know head that i want to accomplish and for the most part like i really want to improve anything that i'm good at or just anything that i do I just want to improve it be you know better like for example at editing i do edit my youtube videos if not i get help for example like when it comes to editing i really just know the basics so i really want to get better at it and learn new and better techniques just so i have like better content i guess you could say better everything when it comes to my videos i mean i feel like i'm all right but I need to like change it up or whatever. I also want to start looking for a house for my little family. And that's basically all I be thinking about, like getting out this apartment I live in and just finding me, you know, something better and bigger. I also want to accomplish like starting school this year. I had currently applied at this um dental program thing here but the classes were full and they put me on the waiting list and they said like not to worry because people drop out drop out like left and right but like orientation been passed 
the class is started and I still have no call. So I might have to call them to see what's up. If not, I'm gonna have to wait till I guess I have my baby to go to school. I know it's gonna be harder, but it's not gonna be impossible. So I'm really not that worried about it, but I would have liked to go now, be, now that I'm pregnant, and, you know, like get it out the way then while I'm actually trying to raise a kid. But like I said, I feel like it's not impossible. I still can get it done. I'm gonna just have to find a way and that's that the next question is how many kids do you want i always get asked this question like geez let me have my first child first let me see how this go i don't know like i always said i want a big family or whatever to like kind of start something that i feel like growing up i really didn't have which was like a big i have a big family but we're not really united we're not really that close Honestly, I gotta see how this goes. But I always want, like I said, I always wanted a big family. So I guess I wanna do about two more kids, maybe just one more. I don't know. I gotta see how this this one go for me because y'all, I am scared for my life. I don't know, I ain't scared for my life. So I'm gonna just have to see, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna move on to the next question, which is how do you like being pregnant? honestly being pregnant it's all right i haven't been one of them pregnant women that go through a lot like morning sickness swelling like all of that stuff i really haven't had that i'm really like thankful that i haven't really went through that I, I mean the first like two months or one i did have morning sickness but it was just one time like as soon as i would wake up and go brush my teeth i would throw up but that's about it like other than that i really never had no issues until like right now i still don't have no issues the only thing that I would say like that irks my nerves is heartburn and leg cramps like while I'm sleeping. But honestly, I used to get leg cramps way before I got pregnant. In my sleep, I would get cramps. But now it's just 10 times worse now that I'm pregnant. And I heard like that's common in pregnant women. I mean, that's about the only thing I hate about being pregnant, I guess. And then of course, not being able to have fun it's like you there but you can never get lit i just don't like that because i'll be the only one on the sideline while i'm watching everybody have fun and you know be lit and i'm just there like well next question is have you thought of any baby names no i have not really thought of baby names because i was just so convinced i was gonna have a girl <laughs> and i had like a whole bunch of girl names i didn't really think about no boy names but like once i kept like running out girl names i'm like i need to stop because what if i have a boy and i don't have no boy names and that's exactly what happened like right now i'm about to have a boy and i don't have no boy name i just don't have no boy names like i still need to keep looking i have one but i don't know i feel like i won't something else when i be like i need help i don't really like the names people tell me i just be like oh okay nah i don't know i need help comment down below some boy names that y'all think i might like next question is how many months are you so right now i'm currently about to be seven months on february 19th i will be seven months i don't know how many weeks that is i have two more months before i pop and honestly, I don't think I'm that big. I'll probably get big towards the end because I've heard like people that be like small during like their whole pregnancy and then they just blow up towards the end. I'm probably gonna be one of those. Hopefully not because who wants to be all blown up? Not me, that's gonna be hard to lose. So, ooh, my hair look cute. When did you and your boyfriend meet or got together? That's funny. I've been on him for like years already. We used to date when we were like in middle school. So I really don't count that. But then like, I don't know if to count it or not. But we used to date. That's why I said this. We used to date when we was in middle school. That really ain't last much. That long. But we had like broken up or whatever. Everybody just went on about their life. And then what? How many years later? Let me see. I don't know, I wanna say about eight years later, we ran into each other at the club. That one night, I was going out with um some girls or whatever, and I had 
added him on Snapchat. And he had posted a flyer that, I don't know, I guess his friend's birthday or something. So I kind of figured he was going to be there. He ended up being there. And I seen him when we was in the club, but I didn't really acknowledge him. I had acknowledged this other girl I used to talk to that he was standing beside and I hugged her. And I really didn't recognize it was him because he just looked way different than from the last time, you know, I had seen him. So I hugged her. And then I'm like, look, thinking like, oh, damn, like, that's him. And I just ain't really speak or nothing. And then, like, later on that night, he tried to act like he was just, like, seeing me. Like, boy, stop. You been saw me because I had hugged the girl you was standing beside. He was just, like, confused. I'm on Shayla. Like, yes, it's me, the love of your life. <laughs> I'm playing. Uh, it's, yeah, it's me, honey. Bad motherfucker. Shayla. He was trying to act all surprised like he ain't seen me when I walked in there and said hey to girl girl. Like don't do that. He left the club so after like dancing all night and being all in each other's face. We had left to like a friend's house. Not my friend. I guess a friend's friend's house. I don't fucking know. Um, to chill, smoke or whatever. So basically after that night, we just really kept in contact. And that's basically it. Like after that one night in the club, that's how it, everything started. Like if I wouldn't have went to that club that night, I probably wouldn't have been here. I should have stayed my ass home. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, do you remember which time you did the nasty and that got you pregnant and was it good? So basically, I told that story on how I found out I was, I was pregnant and all of that in one of my other videos. So y'all need to go check that out if y'all haven't checked that out. Because on my Instagram post that I did where I was telling you guys to ask me a lot of to ask me questions, y'all kept asking me things that I don't already answer and explained in my other video. So please go watch that video. So I do not remember when it happened or how it happened because I just don't remember. Like I said, I did not know I was pregnant. Like I found out I was pregnant a month or two after. So I don't know when it happened, how it happened. We don't know. Is it, All we know that it's here and it's happening. <laughs> and was it good? Dang, I told you how to ask me interesting and juicy stuff, but damn. You in my business. Don't do that. You in my business? yeah don't do that next question is are you going to show your older sister and nieces more i really don't be going out with them like that but like the times i do i think i have like the one of the videos where i went skating it was with my sister and my nieces so like when i do stuff like that i'll definitely like record and show you guys more of them but they do be a little camera shot maybe i could do like a babysitting my nieces for a few hours and stuff you know even though i've been doing that since they popped out that gucci it's not gonna be nothing like different because i'm already used to it like i've been babysitting them since they were like little little but i was thinking about doing a video like that like babysitting my nieces or something. i don't know doing something with them the next question is why would you get into fights tell the mini story i don't know why well i know why but honestly me i hate fighting i'm not like a person that likes to be fighting starting stuff being loud being extra da, da, da. but i'm gonna tell you one thing when it come down to it i'm gonna get down to it so basically i know one of my fights it was just because it was just a stupid ass reason but that was like my very very first fight and honestly, I'm not going to say it was the best, but I'm not going to say I got my ass beat either. I just know that my hoodie had got over. I fought with a hoodie. I don't know who the fuck thought that was okay and why ain't nobody stopped me. But my hoodie ended up being over my head at some point in that fight. So I couldn't see and I couldn't fucking move my arms and stuff. So she, she had me good when... When that hoodie was over my head. But other than that, like, it was an all right first fight. So, after that fight, my other fights that I got into was because of Christy. Like, it's Christy's fault about them fights. So, one time, Christy was fighting this one girl. Right? They both couldn't fight. That fight was weak as fuck. Like, I was just like, why is we here, ho? Like, go home. Like, that fight was so weak, y'all. 
But the girl still kept talking shit and I ended up saying something to her. And then we started fighting and I was rocking her shit. And the thing is, I was only like 14, I think. And the girl was like around Christy age. I was just like, girl, you weak. Bye, next. And then the next fight after that that I remember was because of Christy again. Like, I remember she was at some party being extra and she ended up finding some girl. I don't fucking know. And the point is I was home sleep. I was I have was um I was working at the time. I was already working and I was I had got home from work and we were living with my other sister. I was sleeping and then she called me like, oh, I just got into a fight. We about to go fight them, da, da, da. So I'm waking up and I'm just like, bitch, I'm asleep. Like, I'm waking up to fight. Okay, whatever. But you know me, I was down with the shits. So I get ready, put my fighting shoes on, clothes, all of that. So that's what I did. I put on my fighting gear. <laughs> we pull up to the place. And then the other people were already there waiting or they had pulled up. I don't know. But the point is, the girl was coming fast towards Christy. Like, she was ready to fight her. Like, she really thought her and Christy were about to go around too. But no, baby. Mm -mm. Little big sister was here. And then I'm like, y'all know I'm blind, so I can't really see. And, like, with at the time, I don't think I would. No, at the time, I did wear contacts. But ain't nobody had time to be putting contacts in their eyes when they calling you at your sleep that get ready, you going to war. So... I put my glasses on and I'm thinking like, damn, well, I'm going to have to fight without my glasses. And I'm telling Christy, like, show me, show me the girl. And the girl was coming fast towards Christy, thinking she about to fight Christy again. And boop, I pop up and I just started fighting her. And it just went from that. And I think that was my last fight, really. But actually, I lied. That other first fight was in my first fight. My first fight, I think, was in like fourth grade yeah i was a fourth grader and the other girl was a fifth grader grader and she wanted to fight me for no reason i told her i did not want to fight her and i'm just like well, why are we fighting like it was um this one black girl in the, in the bus and then of course her other friends used to hype her up and she wanted to fight me for no damn reason and i'm telling her like bitch no i'm not gonna fight you like uh why is we fighting i'm confused and then she's like well um you don't want to fight me when i get a when I get off this bus, I'm gonna hit you. I'm like, all right, then we just gonna fight then. Cause if you hit me, we just gonna fight. So her bus stop came, I got up in the seat. I was ready. I'm like, she about to hit me. Okay, we about to fight then. And then she got beat the fuck up. That's all ha what it happened. All she probably did was like, I remember like my mom had a, gave me like a chain that had like my name on it. And she popped it and I couldn't find it. So I was like kind of getting a little scared because of that. But this girl I used to talk to at the time, she found it, it was under the seat. But other than that, she didn't do shit. She got her ass beat because she wanted to be fighting for no reason. She wanted to fight a pretty bitch for no damn reason and got beat the fuck up by a pretty bitch. And that's what happened. Period. Anywho, that last fight was Christy's fault because she got a big old mouth. And that was pretty much my last fight, I think, that I remember. Like, like I said, I don't like fighting people. Like, why is we fighting? No, you don't get me that mad for me. No. Like, do not let people get to y'all. I feel like if you out here still fighting, like, why is you letting these people, like, come in your inner peace and disturb your inner peace? Don't do that. But let me move on to the next question because I feel like I've been on this question for a minute now. The next question is a memory of you and Tammy. That's funny because I was just telling Tammy like that you, um, one of you guys had asked me this question and she's telling me like basically ain't really have like, like a specific memory because honestly like when we came into each other's life, I was really close with Tammy. That's how y'all started. Like me and Tammy were like this. And then I started going to school with Nana in middle school and then... I kind of like started being more close with Nana. Me and Tammy, of course, we were still talking and everything, but like the bond was like more closer, like with Nana. And, like memory, memory, all that I can remember is I had put her on, put her on to like my first job, and she started working there. And I remember we would ride there together, and we would ride like back home together and stuff. Cause honestly, she would sleep on my house about almost every day when I was living with my older sister. Cause we basically had like one 
whole side of the house to ourselves and like it was kind of like a little apartment and that's where me and christy was living on one side of the house and then my sister and her kids and her husband were living on the other side of the house and basically like the girls would come over and sleep over and then that's when tammy started working with me and we would just go to work together and then she quit and then i was just there and i stayed there for a few years before i decided to quit the next question is are you gonna include your son into youtube so basically since i'm already like i feel like i bring y'all along into most of the stuff that i do i feel like it's only right i bring him along with you guys but honestly i don't know i don't know yet i guess we'll just see once he gets a little older but i'm pretty sure i am the next question is do you see marriage in the future i get asked this question a lot but honestly you guys i feel like i'm not really too like into like marriage like i don't i care for it like if it happens it happens but if it doesn't i honestly it's like it's whatever it's a whatever thing where did you gain weight specifically so i feel the same i feel like i really haven't gained like massive weight it's just my belly i'm pregnant so of course i'm gonna get bigger there but like my face anywhere else not really i feel the same like i don't feel like my butt has grown which i was expecting it to i feel like my boobs did grow but i mean that was gonna happen regardless but anywhere else i still feel the same honestly how has being pregnant made you feel so far um i don't know if i said it already but i feel the same i really feel the same i don't feel not much of a difference besides like a little human growing inside of me i don't really be mad for no reason you know how some pregnant women just be mad i don't i don't do that i don't get mad but i guess you could say like i do be emotional a little bit even the people around me might not know but like the smallest stuff kind of do be hurting my feelings sometimes and i'll just go and, and cry about it somewhere in the corner where nobody's seeing me but other than that like i feel the same which i am really thankful Oh, the next question is, why don't you do any videos with your boyfriend? So, I had been told him, like, oh, we should do, like, this or whatever. And he'll say, yeah, but, like, when it come down to it, he don't really be down. I don't know if y'all seen the, um, the belly painting video that I posted. Like, he was the one that was supposed to be doing the painting. But the day before, he decided to get drunk. And I think that was New Year's? I don't know. No. I don't know when it was. But he decided to get drunk, so he wasn't feeling good so he was um saying he was throwing up and did that his stomach was hurting his head was hurting so his cousin ended up doing it which she did a pretty good job so i wasn't mad at the end i was just like his was probably his painting wasn't gonna look that good anyways but i feel like he's like a uh, camera shy so i'm not gonna press him to do any videos with me if he don't feel comfortable or if he just don't want to when is my due date my due date is april 19th but y'all know how sometimes that's just like a estimate like it's not a actual thing so who knows when my baby really gonna come but all i know is i'm scared that's it <laughs> what's your baby planned like i said earlier no my baby was not planned it just happened <laughs> it was an accident i guess <laughs> it is what it is but the next question is what are your emotions while pregnant um i mean like i said i do feel like i'm more emotional now that i'm pregnant than when i wasn't because when i wasn't i was more like i don't give a, you know like i don't care type of person like it is what it is like okay but now it's just like uh, it's still like okay i don't care but i'm gonna go cry about it somewhere in the corner what are your plans when you have the baby when i have my baby i'm not gonna be working for like a few months and then i'm gonna have to start working again because these bills don't stop and i mean i have a whole baby like i'm gonna need bread on my own so i'm gonna go back to working well i'm thinking out to the same place i'm working at now probably something different hopefully but i'm gonna just have to wait and see the next question is are you having a natural birth or, or do you plan on getting the epidural honestly right now i'm saying well i'm gonna try to do a natural birth but honestly i don't know like 
I feel like I'm not a person that sits there and take pain. So we gonna have to see how this go for me. <laughs> Hopefully I take it because I heard that epidural will be messing your back up and especially during the winter time. So I don't know. Hopefully I do all right with the pain. The next question is, how did you start YouTube? So y'all basically, I started my first YouTube video. If y'all go back and like really check out my very first video, it's basically just a Q&A. Like I ain't know what the fuck I was doing. I just turned on my phone. No, first of all, I just did my little makeup. I did my little hairstyle and I just started filming. Like I didn't know what I was doing. Like at the time, I didn't even know what a thumbnail was. Like I just started doing it. I guess because I seen um, Nana doing it, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, it's going good for her. Like, I feel like I could do it. Like, I wouldn't mind doing that. And it just seems so cool. So, I just got up and did it. Like, I'm sure if y'all go watch it, y'all going to be like, what the fuck is this? Like, what was she thinking? But honestly, like, it, you got to start somewhere. Like, I honestly don't care. Like, y'all might look a mess or sound a mess when I, on my first video. Maybe until now, y'all might think that. But honestly, you got to start somewhere. And honestly, I feel like I've been doing pretty good to like where I'm at right now. Next and last question is, what excites you more about being a mom? Honestly, everything. Ever since I was a little girl, I always knew I wanted a family one day. I always knew I wanted kids. All of that. Now that I'm pregnant, I'm going to just have like my own little baby. Like that's crazy. A little have me that's gonna call me mommy and that's gonna love me and it's just everything really excites me about it like to think about it like yeah it's like kind of scary not scary because i feel like i'm not really scared to be a mom but like i know like mom go through moms go through a lot but i don't really think about the stuff the bad stuff we go through i just think about like the bright stuff like they gonna always call you mommy that was gonna love you no matter what all that stuff so that's really what excites me just everything about it <laughs> excites me and i think i'm ready i was made for this so we just gonna see but that's pretty much the questions that i had got because most of them were kind of the same and then others had nothing to do with the video like i don't know why i was asking me stuff about other people and not me thank you for the ones that asked me the good questions and right now i'm about to go to nana's house so she can take my pictures and i will be uploading those on my instagram so make sure you guys check those out we're gonna be filming for karen's channel like i told you guys earlier so i might do like a little clip so yeah a little sneak peek See you guys when I get over there. They call me Megatron, just did a telethon. He got my jealous on, and I get my jealous on. I feel like I miss him, he just came out of prison. Be talking shit, but they ain't got a pot to piss in. My name is Nikki M, I'm in the sticky bins. I mean, it's candy apple red, I'm Barbie, this is Ken. Hey y'all, so I have posted a, um, Fresa con crema on my story, and then Nana texted me and said she wanted some. So I stopped by to get her and Karen one, and while I was at it, I went ahead and got me a corn on the cob and that looks so good i can't wait to bite into it but i am now on the way to nana's house so i'm about to show you guys what i got because i'm pretty sure y'all don't know what i'm talking about so i'm about to put y'all on real quick okay y'all so i just finished taking my pictures and i'm about to eat my corn on the cob like mexican it. style that i told y'all i was going to show y'all look how good they look and then I got Karen and Nana a fresa con crema. Show them how that looked. I already took my little sticks out. It don't matter. matter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Why you left it outside? I thought you was going to... Um... So it would be cool. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. That one tastes better than la, the other paleteria. La sirenita, whatever. I only get this from this woman. She got a little stuff. Um... But you know what? I don't mm -hmm. like the strawberries. I only like the crema. Bro, what? That's the whole point of the 
<laughs> what? I, I suck the crema off the strawberries and I throw it away. The you throw the strawberries away? Baby, so you just need don't a fat crema. Don't cry. You just need a fat of crema. <laughs> they don't do that, right? They don't have to stop paying that. Unless you be like, can I get it on the side? This is good. I just want a whole cup of crema. I haven't had this in years. What's wrong with you? They be too sour. Not all of them. Some um do be sour, but we gotta get the right ones. And we got Tammy and Karen in the kitchen. What y'all making? Greens, mac and cheese, and green beans. With sausage, green beans. Oh yeah. Oh, with sausage. That sounds good. Yeah. All right, so for today we're doing customize your own Crocs, and I have different stuff so you can use uh, charms, different charms. We got rhinestone, and then we have paint in here. So you do What's whatever this, you gloss? want. Yeah, that's like the primer. Oh, yeah. okay. So you can stay. Yeah. We got all custom sheets. Right. Oh, man. So we're going to see who got the best pair. And who got the best pair will happen. The people in my channel are going to pick who the cross they like the best. And that winner gets $100. Okay. okay. You just made that up now? or Because yeah. I ain't know that. This one my plate looking like. Looks delish. Wait, body crazy, curvy, wait, big titties, little wait, body, yaddy, 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 I think this is a finished product right here. I can't think of nothing else. Right. You should have did a butterfly. How? Right. Right. She can put right the glue there. Right. Look up the sketch and do it with the glue. This is how you do a butterfly right, right there. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Look, butterfly. Girl. Girl, this is mm -hmm. Let me see y'all. They're giving caliente. Spicy. Spicy. Karen got the red bottoms. Oh, mine's is bad. Okay. Oh, navy, navy. Oh, like God. Then this bling out. I look. Okay. Sorry. Sammy. Sammy. Sammy three business days into them rounds now. She still not done. I got two different vibes. I'm trying to do two different vibes on each shoe. I'm trying to think what I want to do over here. Hey, you guys. So, yesterday I didn't end up closing the video. If y'all want to see more of what we did yesterday, like more in depth, just more in details, make sure you guys check out Bad Karen's YouTube channel. I only did a few little clips. I was already filming, so I just gave y'all a little sneak peek of what I was doing and what I had going on for the night. But make sure you check out her new video and as of right now it is currently 4 15 and i am going to grab some lunch with nana and karen and i think jay is coming too and then later on today is tammy supposed to be doing like a sunday dinner at her house so i'm about to eat real good today real good but we was really gonna get on um, brunch but Tammy had a few things going on, so she was busy. Um, I think Claudia had a few things going on, and I think she didn't reply or something like that. I don't know. So it's just going to be us for now for lunch. And then later on, I think we're all going to be there for Sunday dinner at Tammy's house. We're supposed to be going to Firebirds. I think that's what the place is called. I've been there once. It's pretty like a pricey restaurant, but the food was pretty good. I mean, the drinks were good too. Of course, I can't drink, but for the ones that can, their drinks are good. That's what 
what's going on today. So I'm gonna just see you guys when we get to the restaurant. coming home after our lunch date because I work tomorrow and I have to be in bed early and I know the girls like to start a little later that's pretty much it for this video I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for you guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye